Good day, everyone. Nice to have you here again. Welcome to Edu 728 class. Today, we want to look at second language teaching. Second language teaching. Second language teaching is common across the world. It exists both in developed and developing countries. The issue of second language teaching is not peculiar to Nigeria. It is a common phenomenon across the world. English is being taught as a second language to citizens whose native language is not English. And that is what is obtainable in Nigeria. English language is being taught as a second language to pupils, to students, to us as citizens of Nigeria because our native language is not English. So the teaching of any of the three major languages also is teaching of a second language to a Nigerian child. That is, when you teach Aousa language to a Yoruba child, you are teaching Aousa language as a second language to a Yoruba child. So the teaching of any of the three major Nigerian languages is teaching it as a second language to a Nigerian child or teaching it to a Nigerian child to whom it is the first language. The same way the various native North American people learn to speak English as a second language is the same way this course, Edu 728, is prepared to teach the three major Nigerian languages to Nigerian pupils. Just like we have TESOL, it is the belief of this course that with this course and with the uh, gradual intensity and efforts, there will emerge in Nigeria the teaching of Hausa language, which will, which will be tagged something like the teaching Hausa to speaker of other languages, so teaching of Igbo language, which is teaching Igbo to speakers of other languages so, and teaching Yoruba to speaker of other languages so. Having said this, let us look at the roles of English language. English language plays three major roles. The, it is the official national language of the nation. It is a second language. Since we don't have a central language that cuts across the nation, so it is the second language that we need to learn since it is our official language. So the second language, by virtue of it being the official national language, to those who do not speak it as their mother tongue. And lastly, is a native language to some. The Nigerian English language is a native language to some. So English plays these three major roles in Nigeria. And lastly, it also recognizes Nigerian children from minority group, from minority language group. The old one, which is the Nigerian child, the L1, which the Nigerian child speaks, is part of the cognitive endowment of the child. Just like I said the other time, that um, human being is the only animal that God endowed with the ability to make use of language. So an average child that is given that to has been endowed with cognitive ability to process language. So the L1, which is the mother tongue, the Nigerian child has been endowed with the L1, 
because that is the first language that the child is exposed to and so the child acquired the language so the child is endowed with the language and part of the developmental process is that the child brings out from home to school that language so any child coming to school must come with l1 the l1 could be any of the three major languages it could be english just like we said it is also used as a um, first language of some people and also it could be a minority one of the minority languages so the child's native language is very important because that is the foundation because it is the language which established the initial rapport with his environment. The first language is what the child will first use to interact with his environment. So the first language is the child input competence or the linguistics entry behavior. That is the child's entry behavior into language learning. So what are the academic preparation of the second language teacher? You as a teacher, what are the academic preparation that you need to equip yourself with? This course, Edu 7 to 8, aimed at synthesizing language teacher to the teaching of indigenous languages. So that as teachers and also as native speaker of the language which you teach, you need to be trained. The fact that I'm able to speak the language do not qualify me to stand in the front of the class and teach. Rather, I need to equip myself with the pedagogy and some other essential ingredients that will make me to qualify academically to stand in the front of the class and teach. So as a teacher and as also a native speaker of Nigerian language, which you teach or which you are trained for, which qualifies you to teach it is important to know and to remember that it is not only native speaker of a language that is qualified to teach you need to equip yourself with academic um, preparation academic development and that is what this course is all about to prepare you as a teacher academically um to to certify you so that you will be you will have the necessary um, essential ingredients that you need to equip yourself with in the teaching of second language so as a native speaker who has the natural knowledge of the language you are expected to be a specialist through academic knowledge of the linguistic structure of the language through training that is you have to develop yourself for you to become a specialist, you have to have adequate academic knowledge of the, of the language. And in addition to the intuitive aspect of the language, which you already know. So the necessary training will give you technical and academic edge over anybody who is untrained or who is just the speaker of the language. And this area is where former academic training emerge and so the areas of formal academic training include the phonetics and phonology of the native language for you to be academically um, equipped to teach a language the native language or any of the indigenous language you have to know the phonetics and phonology of that language you have to be vast with communication skills listening speaking reading and writing skills they are very essential in language teaching and learning then the morphology of the native language you have to know how words are formed are formed how word is structured how, um, the morphology of that native language that you are teaching you have to know the syntax as well as the lexics and structure the language a vocabulary also you need to know the vocabulary and meaning relationship as they apply to that native language also a working knowledge of the culture of the native language because language and culture are related there is no way you will study the language 
without having anything to do with the culture. And there is no way you will study the culture without having something to do with the language. Also, you need to equip yourself with literature and literary study in the language uh, that you are learning or that you want to teach. The language of specialty, including the literary heritage, the culture of the language. And also, you have to know the use of language and language in action. All these are part of what you, as a language teacher, must equip yourself with. Having said this, what about professional requirements of teachers of Nigerian languages? What are the professional requirements that you need to have as teachers of Nigerian languages? The professional requirements of teacher of Nigerian languages means the kind of exposure you need to be exposed to. You have to be exposed to the cognitive courses that will add quality to academic training and performance as a teacher. A lot of people go into language teaching without cognitive courses. And so such people, they cannot boast of being qualified. They cannot boast of being certified to teach. Indeed, they cannot until they acquire the skills through these cognate courses. Going through the university to acquire the necessary academic training without acquiring the professional skills through cognate courses do not make one a language teacher. All teachers of language need the professional training to be qualified. And so for you to be qualified as a language teacher, you have to go through the cognitive courses. What follows here is a discussion of the cognitive courses that had a professional dimension or added value to your academic status. For you to be satisfied as a teacher, you have to be exposed to professional training and you have to be exposed to cognate courses, and that is the essence of this course. Acquiring or having that professional dimension is what this course is all about, especially for those who are already graduates but who are not trained teachers. The cognate courses in language teaching include social linguistics, psycholinguistics, pragmatics, error analysis, contrastive analysis, and relevant education courses, as well as practicum, which is teaching practice. That will make your training and preparation as a language teacher complete, and you will be well equipped to stand in front of the class and teach effectively. You may be required to take more courses to make you professionally qualified as a language. It is very important for us to be trained as teachers. So the fact that I have had my degree in other areas is not sufficient. The fact you want to be effective in this noble profession, you have to equip yourself with relevant education courses as well as practicum which is teaching practice and other language courses other cognate language courses which we have mentioned with this we have come to the end of this and so i'm saying goodbye <laughs>